Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. Today I'm going to talk about some basics in owning a betta fish for beginners. Let's get started with the basic housing requirements. A betta can survive in a tiny bowl, but not thrive. Just because we can replicate the most harsh conditions that an animal can survive in, does not mean we should do that in captivity. About 2.5 gallons or 9.5 liters is the recommended minimum for a tank or bowl. When a fish poops, it causes levels of ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite to rise in the water. This makes the water toxic for the fish. Daily water changes are needed for a bowl. A cycle tank using a filter is the best option for these fish. As the temperature in a room changes, the temperature of a bowl or tank will change with it, and to prevent this from happening, we use a heater. A gentle filter will help keep the tank clean and keep the ammonia levels down. If you have a problem finding one that has a gentle enough flow, you can either alter it or use a sponge filter. Bettas are carnivores, therefore they do best on frozen or live bloodworms, brine shrimp, daphnia, or tube flex worms. Dried pellets, flakes, or freeze-dried food expands in water. Do not overfeed your betta with those. So thanks for watching the Beginner Betta Guide. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the future videos. Also, share it with your friends so everyone else can learn about bettas. Thanks for watching the video. Bye!